Hi, Jeremy Morgan here. Today we're going to talk about how to get started with Angular Seed. Angular Seed is kind of a bootstrap type thing for Angular, and what it is is just a template to kind of give you some guidelines for setting up your Angular application. You'll need Git installed in order to pull down the repo. And we'll do that here really quick. And what we do is just clone the repo here from GitHub. And we can take a look around. Now, as you can see here, we've got a set of folders. We've got app, config, logs, scripts, and tests. In here in scripts is where you can actually run an internal web server. If you have Node.js installed, you can do it on Mac, Linux, or Windows. And what it does is runs an internal web server for kind of testing out your application. And we will go ahead and do that really quick. You want to go into the app folder, which will show your index.html, and this will be their, your web root, type.scripts. And now, as you can see, we have a web server running at localhost port 8000. And as you can see here, we have just a very basic application with some partial views here. So let's take a look around at some of that. Here's our index.html. And as you can see here, it has your basic HTML elements. It has an ng view in it. Um, you can pull in your app version. It includes Angular, Angular route, several other JavaScript files here that you'll be modifying. Like if you want to add controllers, you go into controllers.js. And as you know, controllers are a huge part of Angular, and it's, it's where most of the work is done. So it's nice that they have it set out and everything ready to go. Here's for your directives, filters, services, and so forth. And then your main application configuration here. Here's the Angular library, and here's some of your partials. We have, this is the partial for view one. As you can see, we can just change this and add whatever we want for that partial. And it's pretty easy. Now you can also change some configurations here. You can use Karma and Protractor. Um, you can do unit tests with this. It's, it's pretty much set up for you and you can also do some modifications. Say if you don't want the default port to be 8000, there's your port. You've got some different configurations here and it's really intuitive. You can really see kind of how everything is set up. So really what this does is just sets down a template for you. You can jump in, start coding, start building things, and it's, it's super easy. Now here's something else we could do. Uh, we could go ahead and throw Bootstrap on here for instance. And what I'll do is pull it down from the Bootstrap CDN. And then we'll replace this with some Bootstrap. And I'm copying and pasting so you don't have the agony of listening to me type all this in. Let's save. This is just some basic bootstrap code. And now we have a bootstrapped Angular page where you can go through the different views. Really easy to work with, really good organization. Now, if you're building a larger Angular application, 
you probably wouldn't want to use this. You would probably want to come up with your own structure and your own setup. And the same goes if you're integrating Angular into an existing application. But if you want to just roll out a quick application um, you, and you want everything laid out and set up, this is a great way to do it. Just clone the repo, start working on the repo, and you have your own little server here. Um, if you're running Node, that, so you can look at your changes, test your changes, and it's super easy. It's one of the cool things that's been set up. And uh, go ahead and check it out. And let me know in the comments if you do anything cool with this. Thank you.